cap. Hi, Alex Barr, third day here at YBA Broadcasting Camp. I'm here in the kitchen because we learned yesterday, Jimmy Young taught us, the best way to practice play-by-play -play is to do play-by-play -play for any event possible. So it's about 10.30 right now, and they're cooking lunch right behind me, so I'm going to go give them some play-by-play -play for their cooking. Let's go into the kitchen. All right, so we got Dan right here, and, and he's the main guy in the kitchen right now. If they're going to get this done, it's going to be up to him. He's going for some lettuce now. I've been eating salads, and they've been great. He's going to look through to come up in the clutch today. He's got the big knife going for him. That tends to be his, his tool of choice, and he's chopping right now. Got some good chopping. He's in a rhythm now. Here we go. Here we go. Chopping that lettuce up. These salads are going to be good today. Here we go. Here we go. He's bringing the heat. He's bringing the heat. All right, he got that one done pretty fast. Let's see if he can bring it again. He's going at an all-star pace. Right now, he's got some separate leaves. This may be difficult, all, oh, but he handles them like they're absolutely no problem. And he's getting the green part. Part. That is the best part. That is the key to any good salad. That's what you got to do. And he's doing it right now. He's getting it done. And he's multitasking because if we come and look over here, he's got some meat cooking too. This could be some kind of some kind of taco, anywhere from a taco to a sloppy joe type of thing. It looks like we're seeing right here cooking over on the stove. If we come back over here, he's he's still working on the lettuce. He's working hard. He's going to get this done in time. Very good performance. And I think we're, yep, we're going to see some tomatoes later. We got the tomatoes, but he's going to go back to the meat, to the sloppy joe. Here we go. He's mixing it up. Mixing up, and the trick is to get that meat brown. The pink meat is not cooked yet. You can't eat that. I don't know if you can see the color difference, but the brown meat, that's the meat you're gonna wanna get. That's the good stuff. And he's gotta mix that all around. Get the flavor, and he's mixing it right now. It looks like some sort of spatula, I believe right now is his tool of choice. And he's mixing it, he's gonna come back. All right, so I was reporting earlier when we saw the meat that we had anywhere from tacos to sloppy joes, and sources are now reporting it is, in fact, tacos. I'm now standing here with these shells. Looks like we are going hard shell today, the classic U-shaped hard shell taco. The meat is coming. Looks like we're in for some sort of Mexican-type lunch today, and now I'm thinking the lettuce may not even be for a salad, but for a taco topping. Could you imagine that? A taco topping with the lettuce chopped very fine. It hints towards that. Here we go. We're starting the tomatoes now. We are starting with the tomatoes. Here he goes. And it looks like he's going to got those four A's. Oh, he's going very small on these tomatoes. These are definitely for a taco topping, maybe even some sort of salsa to go on top of the tacos. He is dicing the tomatoes. The technical term would be right here. And notice how he switched to kind of a longer, more curved blade for easier control, not as much power, but tomatoes a lot softer than lettuce. He can, he can make that switch. Oh, and he is really getting those diced up good. Very fresh looking tomatoes. And we continue to break this developing story. We saw the taco shells. We saw the meat. We now have full confirmation. Taco seasoning right here. We will have tacos today. This will end up on the meat when it's done. It will be tacos for lunch today. This is breaking news. We are bringing it to you first here at BBTV. I realize this is on after lunch. But we are bringing you the news right now. Tacos for lunch today. And I'm right now here. And we're setting up for the post game right now, the post lunch. I'm in front of the dessert cooler. And we have two choices for dessert today. For you healthier folks, we got the oranges down here. They appear to be maybe eighthed, possibly I see a couple quartered. The, the peel's still on them. The peels will be peeled off. as a traditional after-sport food, uh, orange, orange slices, very good. And then of course, you got the brownies with the frosting. The first day we were here, they did not have frosting. We now have frosting. They've gotten thicker. It's almost, almost a bit of a slice of chocolate cake. It's borderlining on that brownie thing. We may have to go to our brownie expert. I'll see if I can find a brownie expert to give us the split on that. But right now, it looks like for dessert, we're going to have either orange slices or brownies, possibly chocolate cake. And also over here, I just saw apples. Apples, a third possibility. Maybe even with the tacos, a healthy alternative. Very important. You get the health. We're out there in the sun all day. You got to get that vitamin A. B, C, D, E, F, G, on and on and on. And I'm over here right now by the drink machine, and we got uh, plenty of choices right here. And of course, we're out in the hot sun running around, not so much us as the baseball players, but hydration, very important. Just kind of go through what we got here. We got a couple orange juice, lemonade, fruit punch, iced tea, and water. And the first day, they told us not to mix, but I'm going to come right over here. And the one mix I've made, they said they'd advise us not to mix because it's a waste, but the one mix you're going to want to make, I'm going to take some pink lemonade right here. I'm going to fill my glass up. About halfway, you're not going to use ice because I just water it down. And then I'm going to come over here to the to this, to iced tea. I don't know if it's sweetened or unsweetened. I'm going to mix that. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. And you have yourself a Southern style Arnold Palmer. Very good. So more on the dessert story. We were over there before with the brownies and the oranges. And now we see oatmeal raisin cookies. 
could be a possible late addition to the dessert lineup right here. They were slid into the tray a few moments ago. Oatmeal raisin cookies, a healthy alternative, but still a cookie. Definitely that great mix you want, the power and finesse. It's still a cookie. It has that oatmeal and raisin in it. Very healthy. And we'll see. That could be a very hot choice today.